What's up everybody and welcome back to Westland Survival. It's been a long time since I've posted a video on Westland and as you can see my base has changed a fair amount. So I've now got this nice outer shell and this is all in preparation for the update that's going to be coming very soon which I plan to be covering a lot because from what I can tell we're going to be getting raids in the game. I'll go over the what was it? The Q&A the devs did in a little bit. However, first, I'm going to be heading out on a bounty hunt. We found the location of the hideout, so there is a rather mean person that has been out there just killing people, as they do. So we're going to be going out to go and kill him. Right. Unfortunately, though, I do not have anywhere near enough inventory space because I've just been grinding to get my base done. I did get to about level, I think it was 98-ish, and then my account rolled back by about three months and put me back to about level 30, but thankfully one of the devs was able to help out and sent me, ooh, I can't remember what it was, um, enough stuff to make, I think it was three, three by three stone rooms, as well as some resources. Not absolutely everything to cover what I lost, but it's better than nothing. So that's what I've been doing in the game lately. Just grinding. Right now, if I can find some form of bandages. Oh, you know what? We need to take an axe with us because we're going to the bandit camp. Have I not got any bandage things here? Alright, looks like I took a meat with me. Let's go. I might even... Yeah, I probably should take the pulse. Because I don't know how much energy I've got. You know the coordinates of your bounty target. Get him before the other hunters do. Is it this one? It is. And, oh, we have got enough energy to run there. I was about to say, it's weird that it didn't put the target central on the map, but that's because we can't actually scroll past here. So, for those that aren't following the game, they have added in a new location, like the... What am I saying? Like the bunker in Last Inner Earth. It's called the Spirit Cave. If the game will let me click on it. Oh, there we go. So that is the spirit cave. It resets every two days and you can work your way through and at the end get a bunch of loot. But that's not what today's video is on. I think I've only been to the spirit cave once so far and I died. I'm not very good at games in general. Right, let's go and have a nice nighttime raid. Ooh, wow, we just one tapped him. Okay. That bodes well for this fight. If I can find his base. Where is this guy's house? There we go. Guessing it's going to be over here. Cromwell the Greedy. He's the one we needed to kill. And what hatchet was that? That was a bone tomahawk. Okay. Right now. Okay, so Cromwell the Greedy hasn't got a base here for us to loot. It's got a few more bodyguards though. Ooh, that's a free gun right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to really smash into here. I'm going to kill everyone here just so we can get all of the nice um, XP and bits of armor and everything from killing them. I don't think we're going to be getting anything else from here. Doesn't look like it to me at least. Nah. Alright then, that was a very simple bounty hunt, but if we go back, I'll show you the rewards we're going to get for it. You know what, whilst travelling over there, we might as well cover the FAQ they did. So this Friday FAQ was released on the 15th at the time of recording, it is the 17th. So, where are we going? So, there's actually a good amount of information about the new update that's going to be coming. So, the most asked questions are about the town, a broken bridge, and a wagon access. As we already mentioned earlier, the town is closed for all players, which is why you can't repair the bridge. No tar, no bridge. As soon as we finish and implement a quest line, we will open locations. Regarding the access, it is also it also depends on available locations, not to mention that we need to design the wagon mechanics, which are not finished yet. So from what I can tell, it's to me it sounds like the wagon is going to work like the ATV in Last Enough, in that 
it's going to be used for specific locations, not just an upgraded horse. What are you working on right now? Our dev team is working on the cowboys and bandits, relationships and possible impacts. So that is where we start to see what's going to be coming in this next update. When will we see dual guns? We can't answer when we'll introduce dual guns. The main concept is that you can equip two different guns, two guns in different hands and use them together making two attacks in one round. There are some issues in designing of the weapon switching and something that you already have in the pocket. So at the moment it just sounds like unless we're getting an extra pocket then it's not going to happen anytime soon. Any plans on increasing the max box SAS storage limit? There are Okay, so this is actually the wrong Friday FAQ, but I might as well finish it. There are two different designs that we discussed now. First one is just to add five extra slots everywhere. The second one is based on storing particular resources, log piles for example, which can only be used on storing logs. This topic is still under discussion. Let me jump forward to the correct FAQ. Hey everyone, our team is working hard on the update. Meanwhile, we have picked several in interesting questions from you guys. Do you have any plans of balancing the recent damage nerf? The damage nerf was intended a long time ago. The only thing that we want to adjust is the rewards for some locations, for example, a spirit cave. So hopefully it sounds like we're going to be getting better rewards for the spirit cave. Any plans for new developments? Next features, which we can announce right now, are bandits invasions and character customization. So next feature, that means that this is the next update we're getting. What will bandits invasion invasions consist of? A bandits invasion consists of the following parts. The bandits anger. Each death of an NPC with the bandits badge on his name will generate anger points. Once their anger is critical, a bandits face will icon will appear on the global map, map and move towards your base. Once the face mark reach, reached your base, you will have to play a special invasion scenario which includes bandits attack on your ranch. They will also attack your walls, chests, furniture, etc. Once the invasion has ended, their anger will reset. So it sounds like the bandits are going to be coming to attack our base every time we kill one of their members. So they're going to gradually get more and more angry then they'll come for us. And it says we'll have to play a special invasion scenario. If I'm remembering correctly from something I've said in the past, it means that we're actually going to be, have a um, play button so we can watch the bandits attacking our base. I watch it back. Will there be a female character or character customization? Yes, a female character will be introduced with the customization system, so that is coming in the next update for those that wanted females in the game. What about adding my ranch defense weapons, like Gatlin and Gun to protect our base? The first several means of self-defense will be introduced next update. Iron stakes, trapped, traps, barbed wires and sandbags. Other things like Gatling gun will come later. Doesn't mean that bandits will steal weapons or will they just make a mess on my ranch? If they steal, will there be a way to get back my supplies? Bandits will try to steal items from broken chests. What and how much stuff they might loot depends on the difficulty of the invasion. You won't have an option to get your supplies back. We are open to your suggestions once the feature is out. I am so disappointed in this. We're not going to have a chance to get our supplies back. However, there has been a lot of feedback about this since they released this information. And we are they are probably going to change that to give us an option to go to like a bandit stash location. And hopefully get our items back. Or try to at least. And the final question... Is there any chance of building a basement on the ranch? Are you thinking of adding wool lanterns? We will add more cosy furniture on your ranch as it's really dark at nights in the wild west. So we're going to be getting lanterns or something like that. However, they haven't said anything about the basements. But going by how the game is made, I'm not expecting basements to get added. Right then, I think that is everything for the FAQ. Let's hurry back over to the base. Oh, we've just got our daily rewards because it is two minutes past midnight here. So it is technically now Monday. Yeah, it's now the 18th here. Right. Now, what does it say? No bounties available. Ah, okay, so what we have to do is... Hello, Mr. Deputy Sheriff. So the rewards we're getting, 40 coins, 1,500 experience, 20 ingots, and 20 leather. Let's complete that. Goods delivered to your storage. Excellent. 
So now I've got 1,800 coins, and I think... Please help! Completed! There we go. And I think what we should start working on is increasing our spirit. Because I would like to be able to start at least getting wolves trained. Maybe bears. But that is going to take a lot of the spirit points. Now, no bounties available. So yeah, we're not going to get any other bounties for another... I think it's 24 hours, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm so proud of our base. There you go, this is awesome. So we've got it nicely semi-honeycombed. It's not a honeycomb as such, but we've got two stone walls thick all the way around. I wanted to keep this nice and open. I didn't want to just fill this with honeycomb stuff. However, once they do add in the bandits attacking us, I might have to just spam down some level 1 and 2 walls there to protect that a little bit. Right now, what have we got going on here? Reinforce the leather boots, 15 wolf fangs, 15 bear claws. Well, I haven't got the, those wolf fangs and bear claws, but I also don't particularly want reinforced leather boots. Let me take a look here quickly. Uh, leather boots. Yeah, it's just the, I think, tier 3 or 4. If it was armor or superior armor, then I would go for that, but nah, not with just the reinforced. Doesn't seem worth it to me. Right, I think. I think I'm going to end off the video here because, yep, it's just gone midnight and I'm getting up at 7 in the morning to go for a swim. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you are enjoying Westland. If you haven't checked out this game so far, I would definitely recommend it. And also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!